I want to ask something that's very important to people here, um, and that is um, the view that uh, in, in Pakistan, censorship and harassment of the press, of activists and dissenting voices of women um, is on the rise. And you just spoke very eloquently about a new Pakistan, talked about the inequalities that have plagued the economy. And I'm curious, what, what are your thoughts and commitments about also protecting the pluralism and the, and the freedom of speech and of the media that's so important to a democratic Pakistan? Uh, for just, just let me say one thing. Uh, my government, and time will prove this, will be uh, the most inclusive government in Pakistan ever. Now the media. You know, I have, uh, in my life, I uh, went to university in England and I spent about 18 summers of my life in England. And I've seen the British media, very open, very, uh, very free media. The Pakistan media, in my opinion, is even freer than the British media. There is, there is the, the media in Pakistan, I mean, is uh, not just free, but sometimes out of control. <laughs> I, I can tell you that in Britain, in Britain, no media would have come published things like or said on television things like the Pakistan media has done. I can tell you since I've been in power. I mean, imagine, uh, I, I don't even think, think in America this would be allowed, even though the media has this love-hate relationship with President Trump, uh, more hate than love sometimes. But imagine that, uh, for, again, a prime minister of a country and this man sits on television and says that I can tell you that he's getting divorced tomorrow. <laughs> So if there was some truth in it, you know, you would, okay, if he had some knowledge. But there's only me and my wife living together. Where did he get this information from? But this sort of thing, I mean, I, in the olden days, I can tell you that this uh, guy would have been beaten up. Nawaz Sharif's time, the, the, the previous prime minister, he had journalists beaten up. Asr Zardari people were petrified of him. He would just, people would disappear. In my time, I, I tried, I went to the legal channels, I, I reported it to the media, you know, I went into the court. All I'm saying is that what the media in Pakistan is, you will not find a media like that. And I, I remember uh, the previous ambassador to, uh, to, to Pakistan, him saying that the media was out of control. So what we need is to control the media, not through the government, but through media watchdog. Uh, at the moment, I mean, they, they, two or three things the media did. One is that they started reporting wrongly that the IMI, IMF had said that the rupee would fall, uh, you know, to to a number they quoted. They almost, uh, there was a run on the rupee. I mean, who would do that? First, you're fighting in a, the biggest economic crisis in your history. Second, you have media coming up with this false news about uh, causing a run on the rupee or the finance minister's chain and so on. So uh, what I'm saying, I feel very strongly that we will strengthen uh, the, the media watchdog. It is not censorship. We will strengthen the media watchdog. But there are 70 channels or 80 channels in Pakistan. Only three channels reported that there was, that were having some problems.